password. That's our chickpea item. Big vibe with that coconut curry vibe. Today we are making one more ital dish as a real, real man from the Rastafarian community. So today we are making curried chickpea ital, right? For this dish, we're gonna use some cassava, we're gonna use some sweet potatoes, chocho, scotch bonnet, some okra, and we're gonna use a dried coconut. Crazy chef, ital is vital. You know, I told you all the time. You know, check out my other ital videos on there. As I said, if you're trying to live healthy, if you're trying to do the right thing, if you're trying to lose the weight, work with that ital. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the vibe. Crazy Chef, ital is vital. Always, first thing you want to do when you make any dish is you want to gather all your ingredients so you don't miss nothing, right? So we have our curry. We have our Crazy Chef spice. We're gonna clean up our board a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna clean our okra. We're gonna put our okra aside, right? The large ones we're gonna cut in two. So we'll clean our okra. So I said we'll cut the large ones in two. And we'll put our okra aside. We'll cut this guy. So it's a little hard. If the okra is a little hard, don't use it. Just makes it bad for the dish, right? You wanna make sure your okra is tender and juicy. Crazy Chef, big vibe. Like and share, right? The reason why you like the video is uh, you wanna tell YouTube like, this actually makes sense. Or pepper, what I'm gonna do is I'm all, Usually I like to start with my scotch bonnet. I don't like to put a lot. I like to put a little bit and then we go from there. So our pepper, we're gonna put a little bit and then we go from there, right? I'm gonna cut up my onion. And I've washed all my vegetables, guys. So what I do before any video is I clean my vegetables just so it's like less work and it's le it's better for the video. So we we'll cut up our onion. And usually when I make ital, I like to cut my vegetables chunky, right? We'll put the thyme in there. I won't cut up the thyme. So we'll put the thyme in there and then We'll clean our board and then we'll work on the room. So for this dish, we're gonna turn our stove on medium. Then we're gonna put some coconut oil. We're gonna put a good amount of coconut oil in there. And that's what we're gonna use to start our dish. So we're gonna put some coconut oil in our pan and then we're gonna go finish to cut our vegetables. All right, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our turnip, we're gonna peel it. So, peel our turnip, and we're just gonna cut it. And when you make ital, guys, when you make any ital stew, you gotta remember, less some time is more, because you don't wanna overpower your dish with like too much ingredients. So, usually when I make ital, I don't like to put too much stuff in there. I want, so we're making chickpea ital, I want it to be about the chickpea, I'm gonna make a coconut curry. So 
you know, I, naturally I need my coconut and I need my curry, right? I'm gonna put some cassava in there for the starch and I'm gonna put some sweet potatoes in there for the starch. So pretty much I want it to be about the chickpea. I want it to be a more about the chickpea and the coconut curry but you need some form of filler in there and that's why we're adding like the sweet potato and the cassava oh forget about my scallion so i'm gonna cut my scallions not too small i'm gonna cut my scallion i'm gonna put my scallion with my onions and stuff right so my cassava nice fresh cassava I'm going to put some nice fresh cassava in there. What I want to do with the, the cassava is I want it to be browned up a little bit. Because the thing with cassava is it kind of, your cassava will uh, thicken your gravy too much. So I want my cassava to browned up a little bit. And you'll see how I do it once I start making the dish, right? And then we're gonna add some chocha. I'm gonna add the chocha with the onions and stuff because the chocha, I don't want it to brown. So we'll take our chocha. You gotta take the seed out. Take the seed out, cut it. And then we're gonna saute all this stuff. So let's go over to our... <coughs> so let's go over to our stove and let's work on the next part. You see our coconut oil. It's all nice and melted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dump first all the root veggies, right? So we're gonna dump our root veggies and we're gonna let them brown. We're gonna brown them like we're cooking uh, protein. We're gonna let our root veggie brown. And it's okay to cover it if you want. If you cover it, it will give it that, uh, it will have to cook the inside of it. You just want to make sure you let them brown. So if you look, you'll see it's starting to brown up a little bit. But you want it to brown up more, so we'll just leave it for a couple more minutes to get a nice color on them. We've added all nice, we have our nice color, right? So we have our nice color now. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna add some of that uh, Crazy Chef mix, right? So we add the Crazy Chef mix, good amount. And that's a mixture of garlic powder, onion powder, uh, a little bit of paprika and some other stuff that I add that I won't tell you on here but if you want I'll let you know in the comment section below then we're gonna add some curry and if you ever cook curry you know when you add curry to any dish you wanna make sure it burns a little bit right so we add our curry and as I said this is a chickpea item right this is a chickpea item, so now you're wondering where is our chickpea? So we're gonna add our chickpea. So now we're gonna add our chickpea. Okay. 
we're gonna make that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks, right? No joke. No joke. Look how good that looks. That looks delicious. So we're gonna let this cook for a minute and then we're gonna add our condiments. So we're gonna let this vibe a little bit more. So now is the perfect time to add our condiments, right? So we'll add our condiments. I will put our fire on a lower temperature, right? And then we'll go work on our coconut because co our coconut's gonna give it that final vibe right so we'll put this on low and we'll go work on our coconut as i said the coconut's got what's gonna give it that uh final final vibe so we'll let this slowly slowly simmer for a while we'll cover it and let it simmer so people for this part right this what's inside of this is so good you don't want to waste what's inside so you want to hold it so take it and then you take you take whoops take this out and then what you gotta do is you gotta take this and you take a grater and you gotta grate it but if you don't want to use a, gra a grater you can just cut it up and use a blender And that's what comes outside of it guys that's that rich coconut milk and that's what's gonna help remember we use coconut oil so between the coconut oil and the coconut milk you can you can guess how delicious it's gonna be crazy chef if you haven't liked the video yet like the video if it's your first time here please subscribe to the channel be a part of the vibe so now we're gonna put our coconut milk in our dish crazy chef big vibe oh this looks good guys this looks beautiful so now we're gonna give it a little stir first Monster, and then we're gonna add our coconut milk to the messy Marvin today. A lot of mess today, guys. A lot of mess. But usually, when you make something that's good, bad vibe. But right now, we're gonna let it simmer right we're gonna let it simmer as i said usually when i make ital i don't put salt but you can put salt if you want but i try to use ingredients that give the flavors so usually when i make ital i don't put salt chickpea I tossed you look at that All right that's what it is that's our chickpea I tell big vibe with that coconut curry so our chickpea I tell with coconut curry dangerous vibes crazy chef like share subscribe for more vibe 